Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Revelation, historical Sardis. Scripture references out of Revelation 3, verse 1, part A. And to the angel of the church in Sardis, write, um, Sardis, fifth church addressed in the book of Revelation. And in the Greek, Sardis means red ones, per Strong's Concordance. Um, as you can see here, Sardis is located in what is modern-day Western Turkey, and it is the fifth church mentioned in the book, and it's about uh, 60 miles northeast of Smyrna, and we'll zoom in here a little tighter. Sardis um, is on the northern slope of Mount Timolus, and this would be the... Uh, Pactolus River downrange, and it functioned as a moat in uh, ancient Sardis. So Sardis was well protected by its geography. And Sardis was a very wealthy city and the capital of the region of Lydia. The city was a significant market in the region. The area was rich in produce and fruits. Dyed wool is believed to be invented in Sardis. And gold was also discovered in the Pactolus River up here to the north of Sardis. Specifically, it was discovered in the sands of the Pactolus River. So ornaments, utensils, mirrors, and precious stones were manufactured in the area. And the Romans were noted to create a series of coins during their time of rule over the area. Um, let me get some pictures here of Sardis. Uh, now, during the reign and rule of King Croesus from 560 to 546 BC, metallurgists from Sardis figured out how to separate gold and silver. Uh, this was the first time in history pure gold and pure silver were separated and noted. So this allowed for pure gold and silver coins to be minted. And the coins were trusted across the known world for their purity. Wealth and prosperity were synonymous with Sardis and King Croesus. And this is where we get the English phrase, rich, uh, richer than Croesus. Um, Sardis is known as the birthplace of modern currency. A temple was built in honor of the goddess Sibylle, and she was similar to Diana or Artemis in Ephesus. Now, in the 21st century, Sardis is a ruin named Sert Kalesi. And here we are looking at some of the pictures of what is modern-day Sert Kalesi. And I've got uh, some uh, links provided below. Uh, Bible.org, netbible.org, keyword Sardis, Smith's Bible Dictionary, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. Also got some stuff from Wikipedia uh, regarding Sardis. But the bottom line is uh, Sardis was ridiculously materially wealthy. I mean, these, this church was loaded. <laughs> Does <it> sound familiar? <laughs> Jesus has some words for these folks and all their money coming up here in about a verse. So if you're interested in the topic, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Keyword, revelation. Sardis. Thanks for listening. Take care.